Hello, my wonderful friends. Megas with you on a beautiful day in Asha. I thought we'd do something a little different today. Today is just one of those days I need to get out into the woods. And if you'd like to join me, I'd love for you to come along. I'll tell you what I'd like to do. It's a little rainy, a little cloudy today, so I might not be able to find dry wood, but if we do, maybe we could start a fire. And I just want to share my heart. I feel I have a prophetic word, uh, but of course, with everything you hear, see if it resonates with you, with your heart. You know, and then just talk about the love of my life, Asha. Because my friends, every day I come with this message of Asha because of what it means to me, how it changed my life. It brought me such peace and joy and love and friends, a family of Magi, my friends. And it means the world to me. It's so beautiful. So what do you say? I'll grab a jacket and we'll head out and just see what happens. Love you guys. Oh my God, it is so beautiful. I'm just sitting here by the fire thinking, why don't we make our videos here every day? Oh, guys, just another beautiful day in Asha. So excited to be sharing it with you. I wanna talk about the teachings of the Magi and why I'm so passionate about it, why I come every day with this, my friends, because it's so good, it's so perfect and how it changed my life, literally saved my life. And many of you have told me the same thing. It, it finally brought you peace and joy. You know, even from when we were children, we had an idea of how the world should be, how God should be, how religion should be. But in the world religions were raised in, it wasn't like that, you know? And so it was just kind of a dream of our heart. Wouldn't it be nice? Shouldn't it be that way? And when I found the teachings of the Magi, Zoroastrianism, the original religion, my friends, it, it was so beautiful to me because it was more than just something I was hoping for, dreaming up. I was like, oh my God, this is the original religion. And, and it resonates what was in my heart from the day I was born, my friends, that God is all good and that he has no attributes of the evil spirit. He doesn't get angry. He doesn't hate. He doesn't war. He doesn't kill. And when I read that, my friends, I, I can't tell you how it set me free my friends in asha became the love of my life you know can i share another story with you guys i was in in deep meditation and i had a, a conversation with jesus and it was so beautiful he he just he gave me all of his attention face to face and, and it was such a beautiful place to be in it was familiar it was my brother my friend my lord and, and he just gave me all of his attention. And, and I said, Lord, what is this life all about? And he told me it's to know the real above all real. And, and my friends, when you get these downloads, you, all the understanding comes with it. And it makes me think of Ashavan. Ashavan means truth knower. And the truth is what's real. My friends, it's the real 
knower. We know the real. We live in the real. We create the world. We hold that frequency of the real, the, the capital T truth, love, peace, and joy. And it's so beautiful. My friends, at the beginning of this, I told you I had a prophecy, but I, I want you to weigh it on your heart. And, and maybe I'm not saying the right words. So uh, l listen with your heart right now. I was praying about Zoroastrianism because it means so much to me. I don't want it to go away. But, but I think what I'm seeing, my friends, uh, you know, it, it went, when we started this five years ago, 200,000 followers to, uh, at last I heard like 120, 140,000, somewhere right in there. And I started to get discouraged my friends, but you know what? It, it, the truth isn't going away. Asha can't go away, my friends, because it's what's real, it's substance, it's what was, is, and shall be. Everything else is a lie and illusion, and when that light comes and that truth comes, you know, Asha will always stand. It might not be called Zoroastrianism. You know, I, I've said this before, Zoroaster wouldn't be a Zoroastrian. Jesus wouldn't be a Christian. Do you know what they'd be? Love, they'd be, the word incarnate, they'd be Asha, they'd be the perfect creator's perfect idea because religions, they, they can divide people and then people, the priests that are in charge of it, they can start making rules and traditions and actually break away from the true heart of the message, my friends. So, so, so I think what I've seen, I, I don't think Zoroastrianism is going to return as a dominant religion, but, but I think it's important we remember it. I, I think what's going to take over it is love, the religion of love and Asha and truth, the, the Christ, the Messiah being born inside of each and every one of us and, and letting that live through you where you're one with the Christ, you're one with God, one with love, peace, joy, kindness, my friends, and that's the salvation for the world. My friends, so let's today practice our religion and love each other because that's the real above all real. I love you. I love you. I love you.